All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a very interesting and unique holster for a wide variety of platforms, including, and one of my favorites, a host gun for a quiet device. This allows you to utilize a holster option that locks the firearm into place, protects the trigger guard, and gives you easy drawing characteristics, even with a long can hanging off the end of your host gun. It also works for other more unique and different platforms with accessories and competition pistols that you may not be able to find holsters for and it comes in three main components you get the paddle portion of the holster itself which i have interlocked in this battle belt which we'll talk about in a second the holster part which is actually this polymer piece and then an adapter that locks onto the rail system and in this case we are looking at the psa dagger again more about that in a minute before I get too far into it, though, I do want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for providing the subsonic ammo to help make this video. They also increased the discounts on the code 704 Tactical now to 5% off and free shipping on orders over $200, and they just did some price drops, so definitely check these guys out. The other cool thing about this recovered tactical holster is the fact that these guys also included a code for 10% off, and these generally sell around $50 for the entire setup. Everything with the paddle and the adapter, so everything you need to run this on one firearm. It fits a wide variety of firearms, and more information can be found on their site, but it is also right and left-handed, so that's pretty slick as well. It's also patent pending, so these guys are the originators of this, and a lot of thought went into designing this holster. One of the main things I want to discuss is also just the interesting compatibility of this holster with a wide variety of platforms, including a host farm right here. So let's start taking it down and kind of showing you guys how it works and how it interlocks. You can also buy individual components of this holster, which we'll take a look at in a second, like this adapter piece for $10 to accommodate different farms while still utilizing the holster itself. As you can see, while it's in the holster, the trigger guard is definitely protected and it locks up the firearm rock solid, even with all this end weight hanging off the end of the host platform. It utilizes one bolt to attach this clamping device to the end and it locks through that Glock rail, but again, you can get different versions of this. This is also pretty neat because it utilizes a pick rail on the bottom if you did want to add a light or laser. And when you're drawing the handgun out of the holster setup, it's very convenient. It has a tensioning screw located on the bottom to allow extra tension on this if you felt like it was getting loose, but it does lock up rock solid. At first, when I got it, I had to put it in and pull it out a couple of times, like any new holster. Kind of smoothed up a little bit, loosened up the tension screw, and as you can see now at the range, it was running perfectly. There's a few tips and tricks that I can suggest when utilizing this holster. Although it can fit smaller belts, when you grab it into one of these kind of battle belt setups, it makes a perfect kind of night vision, quiet host battle belt setup. You can have one of these already set up, have it locked into place, and you can have a few different options, and then you can move your paddles over to a traditional belt or have a second one utilizing the same locking system, and you can save money by the drop-down menu on their site so you don't have to buy everything over again. Another tip or trick that I want to mention about this setup is the dagger frames are incredibly cheap. Maybe you do have a dagger setup that you just grabbed and you say, well, I've got a light on the bottom. I'm comfortable with that. I don't want to drop the light down. Complete dagger frames are as low as $50 right now. And what you can do is grab a second dagger frame, um, just kind of permanently attach this. I mean, just put the screw on and know you're going to leave it on the frame. So you run your dagger slide on your normal dagger frame. And then when you decide you want to go maybe different hunting applications or night vision shooting, and you want to carry a suppressed pistol very conveniently, this is going to be a great option because at this point, you can just drop that slide on this frame and now you have a great option to utilize the holster setup. Carrying this around on that battle belt setup with the holster was very convenient. There was absolutely no issues whatsoever. After about 100 rounds, the holster did warm up. I was wearing shorts and the holster part um, allowed it to kind of stay away from my legs so nothing ever got burnt. That is something to consider. 
I guess I wouldn't go around wearing short shorts, maybe like four inch shorts. It, this might touch your skin and be pretty hot after a few hundred rounds. But the good thing about pistol suppressors is they don't heat up too quick like a rifle suppressor. And honestly, this is going to be good to carry in for different night vision shooting scenarios, different hunting applications, especially with the wide variety of platforms out there right now in different states allowing quiet and nighttime hunting. So that's going to be pretty slick. In a nutshell, this has definitely grown a place in my arsenal and I never really thought about something like this. I've seen other options before, but they've always been pretty expensive. I didn't like the way they look and I didn't like the bulkiness of it. This is incredibly streamlined and it's still usable and it doesn't look crazy if you remove the quiet device. It still slides right in with no issues whatsoever. And if you've got other, again, weird platforms with maybe side charging handles for competition, large optics, ports, and things like that. This is also a great option and a very versatile setup. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope it gives you something rather unique in the holster world, especially for host firearms with quiet devices on the end. Is this going to be for everybody? Probably not. But for those guys who have a unique set of circumstances like me, who do have quiet devices and other unique firearms, this is an amazing option that's going to be about $45 after my discount code. Again, all the information will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.